Hello everybody. I can't lie to you, I'm really hungover right now. And I was gonna do like this big intro, this big fun thing, but no, I'm 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 just I I just can't be bothered. I, I genuinely can't. Um I've I've sat through two out of three of these things and we're doing the final part today and honestly um there i've been dealing but with this whole series of my own by drinking lots of alcohol no um i've i just went to a, a thing a thing um i'm really hung over i've got a headache and it doesn't feel nice um so yeah uh, uh apologies um apologies not only for the hangover but also for putting you through free parts of shane Dawson. Enjoy. And yes, there are surprisingly free of these things, because you know what they say, all good things come in free. But I actually have to say that that's probably one of the biggest lies I've ever heard, unless we're speaking about the certain context involving free adults, which, let's be honest, uh, me or you are never going to experience. What? Uh, that phrase is a lie. It's a complete lie, and I feel like I've wasted my time, and I've wasted your time. Because in my last video, we discovered that Shane Dawson's latest documentary is one of the most boring things that I've ever witnessed in my entire life, and now we have to review the third and final part. But I do just have to address something quite quickly that a few people were, well, they, they were a little bit upset. They were saying, Fraser, why are you unnecessarily clowning on Shane Dawson? And the fact of the matter is, is I personally find it very entertaining for myself, so you know, I'm I'm going to continue to do so, like I've done with practically every other content creator or piece of media on the planet. So yes, if you could do me a favor and like this video right now, because I understand that Shane Dawson does have some rather excited fans. So uh, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like and commented right now, that would be fantastic. Please, I am scared of Chain Dawson fans. And to the people that did actually enjoy my previous video, I do just have to say, why? Like, like, actually, why? Because I feel like you're probably into some form of self-infliction here, because nobody should enjoy me watching one of the most boring series I've ever experienced. But, you know, um, we're gonna finish what I started. Fine. I'll do it myself. Now, in this particular entry to Shane Dawson's series, this is one of the most different ones. This is the one where we mainly focus around ghost hunting, rather than speaking about previous controversies or being extremely disrespectful towards Native American culture. We are going to actually focus on paranormal activity. And, you know, when I say that, it's more a guy that doesn't really know how to hold a camera and he's just shaking it around because Shane Dawson, I guess, uh, heard a, a, a cricket make a noise where it was rubbing its balls against the grass. You know, something like that. It's it's not exactly scary. It's not exactly entertaining, but it, it's, it's nothing. But I, I sound like I'm being mean, and I will explain why I'm so incredibly frustrated that I've watched this three times. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? But before I do that, I do just have another quick request that please could you subscribe to this channel and turn the notifications on. A lot of you watch these videos but don't subscribe and I'm really confused to why. So please, I know a lot of YouTubers say it. Click subscribe, please. I'm very desperate. Please, please. Thank you very much. But yes, getting straight into it, I think the main problem I have right at the beginning of the things is, is the intro to this series. Because once again, it's the exact same intro from the previous two. Do people live out here? No, this is like out there. Is that my name? Um, what the? Oh, oh my gosh, what is it? We're gonna see something. Oh God, please don't say that. Is it too late to back out? Shane, what? Do you really think something bad's gonna happen? Well, I don't want to freak everyone out. <laughs> <laughs> now, maybe I'm being incredibly nitpicky here, but I just feel like the million sub YouTuber with the millions of dollars and the million ma dollar mansion with the pool in the mansion, everything in the mansion, everything. I feel like with that money, you could have probably funded a different intro for each one, but I mean, maybe it's just a nitpick, but also the fact that the text is exactly the same to the city, I, it just seems like, it just seems a bit lazy. And that's coming from me and the people watching this right now, because I know a lot of you are a bunch of lazy bastards. 
Now, a lot of people have been commenting on these videos saying that you don't need to watch this. You don't need to comment on this. This is this is none of your business. Stay out of his lane like Shane Dawson is this oppressed minority. Sh I mean... No, I, don't, I, I was going to make a joke there, but I'm not sure what the joke was actually going to be. I, I, I like to critique media. It's something which I very much enjoy doing. I've criticized Shane Dawson's movies. I've criticized other movies. I have an entire account dedicated to movies. I am most definitely mentally ill. So I am going to take this documentary, which has been advertised as a documentary, as a documentary, meaning I'm going to criticize it like it's a television show. Now, if you're still going to say to me, well, you don't need to watch it, I will just then turn back that terrible criticism onto yourself and say, hey, you don't need to watch this video. You could subscribe and like it, but you don't need to watch it. So yes, sir, uh, let's continue. That's why I'm saying this is lazy, because I'm critiquing it as a piece of media rather than one of Shane Dawson's controversies. This is what we're going to be taking the angle from in this video. Rather than controversy, it's now a critique of media. And now just like the previous video, this video also has a, a another terrible disclaimer. A disclaimer of which Shane is just putting there to merely get away with some possible repercussions in the future. And I can understand this because, to be honest with you, I've done this in the past. I've said that this video where I'm slighting somebody for some terrible thing is just an opinion piece because I don't want to be sued. We all do it. It's 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 the it's the media world, you know. But uh I, I do have to just read it because it is quite entertaining. Do not visit Third Bridge. It is not safe. Ghost hunting aside, it's just not a safe place to go, especially at night. Now, Shane, if this was typically just to kind of like move yourself away from getting in shit when people inevitably go to this location because it's in your million view YouTube video, I just find it confusing because you then went to this bridge and recorded a bunch of teenagers. Like, I, I'm not sure what you're- are you endorsing people going here or, or not endorsing people going here? Because by you recording, like, people going to this location, I pr I'm pretty sure that's going to prompt people into going there in the future. Because then they're going to think, oh, maybe Shane Dawson's gonna be in this location. And I don't know why anyone would think that, because personally myself, I would like to stay at least 5,000 miles away from the Shane Dawson household. But, you know, it's gonna prompt somebody into doing it. Yeah guys, I'm being serious. Do not go to this place. This place is an extremely dangerous place. Do not go there. But if you do go there, uh, I'm gonna put you on my YouTube video for content because, you know, it's not on me if you die in this location. So, you know, let's get some content. Now moving away from uh, this very odd disclaimer, we then move on to my biggest gripe with the Shane Dawson documentaries, which of course is the length. Because this video is an hour and 16 minutes. Who has the time? Obviously me! But why do I have the time? Because I don't have a light, but not everybody has the time, you know? Why are these an hour and 16? Well, they, I know why they're an hour and 16 minutes long. It's a little secret between you and me, but a longer video, as I said in the previous video, does better in the algorithm. That's just how this god-awful platform, I, sorry, wonderful platform works. I love you, YouTube. Please monetize this video. Thank you. But look, I, I I just don't get why these documentaries need to be so long in terms of a content style because Shane in the past has very much advertised himself as somebody that wants to be a filmmaker, somebody that wants to produce documentaries which will be seen in te on television, maybe even Netflix, something like that. But then in these documentaries, it just feels like the majority of it is behind the scenes footage and then 10% of it is the actual thing that we've come for here. Because the first two videos were just a bunch of people blabbering on a sofa and then the last part is just a shaky cam for 50 minutes whilst Shane Dawson tries not to poo his pants. Like seriously, I'm not joking when I say 40 minutes of this video is just Shane and his friends driving in the car in the pitch black and you genuinely even can't work out what's going on there because they don't have night vision even though the majority of this is filmed at night and they also just don't know how to use a regular camera. Battery. Battery. Oh. I bet the neighbors think I sell drugs. Okay, so, okay, so turn right. At the stop sign, you're gonna turn left. 
so you know you get there when you lose all service. So there will be three bridges. <laughs> Wait, oh. what? So, no, it's serious. You're gonna lose cell phone service? You're not now, as I said earlier, we're probably gonna get some nut jobs in these comment sections that say, well, you don't need to watch this video. Like everybody on the planet hasn't criticized something that they don't like before. And I mean, fair enough, you're not exactly wrong. But at the same time, even if you're commenting that, surely you can get a little bit frustrated at the fact that a cameraman doesn't know how to use a camera. Like being a full-time YouTuber, it's it's not it's not really a difficult job. It's it's not the taxes. Yeah, they're a little bit frustrating. Yeah, I may pay more taxes than Amazon, but ultimately, it's not that difficult of a job. But at the same time, if there's one thing which you need to learn, it's how to have a camera in focus and how to hold a camera. And now maybe, maybe this guy's got shaky hands, maybe there's something going on there which I don't know about. And I'm not trying to be rude, but you, 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 wouldn't, you wouldn't hire somebody with, with shaky hands to hold a camera. And I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful there, but it's... I just can't see anything. It's really ruining my experience. Throughout this whole video, I'm trying to work out what's going on, but it seems that there is somebody straining extremely badly to take a shit. The guy is shaking so hard that I just can't see anything. Like, for, for the whole thing. Honestly, in terms of the content, I can see why people would enjoy it. I genuinely can. A bunch of friends hanging out together, a bunch of content creators that certain people like, that's fine. If you don't have a gripe with Shane Dawson, if you don't find his past issues, to be disgusting, you may enjoy this content, you know, it may be for you, it may be entertaining, but even at that point, surely you can understand the criticism I've got here. As I said earlier, I'm not criticizing Shane for his actions in this video, I mean merely getting frustrated at how poor some levels of media can be, especially when you are this aspiring filmmaker, and if you want to say that he isn't, then what is this? And what is this? They, they, they suck too, like, arguably, these are 50 times worse, but this is also bad. But the thing is, when it actually does get to the spooky content, when when, when you, you, you think something's about to happen, you, you, you're on the edge of your seat, you know, you just sat there thinking, oh my god, we're 50 minutes in and finally something's gonna happen. Then this happens. I love, <laughs> I love that, the, the, we're sat in this for like 40 minutes, man. I've sat through two other episodes and the one time something, something is seemingly gonna happen, the camera dies. How does this happen? How, how is the most tense moment in this entire series a camera battery running out? I mean, maybe the demon in Shane's house is the fucking really strange and weird ghost, which the, which the only haunting it does is just unplugging Shane Dawson's camera every night. Maybe that's what this whole thing's about. This, this, this ghost that just for some reason hates camera chargers. But I mean, if it's not that, then, I mean, it's just unprofessional, but you know, it's, it's just a bit annoying. I mean, the horror of this series is either an extremely strange ghost or the horror of somebody not knowing how to use a camera correctly. And I'm also convinced, as I said previously, that this was recorded on an iPhone. And I know you can hear like the zoom on the lens, but I'm genuinely convinced that somebody just added that sound effect in post to make it seem somewhat professional. Another thing I've noticed about this series is that it uses so much content from these channels which have like Barely 10,000 subscribers. I mean, when I was doing the research, I'm pretty sure some of them have 900 subs, maybe even less than that. And it's just confusing that Shane has basically just took a load of other content creators' content and just shoved it in there to scare everybody. And I know, I know, I know that a lot of my content involves other content creators' content. I mean, I'm literally doing that right now. But the scariest parts of these videos comes from other content creators, which, I mean, I, I guess that's a good summary of the these, these videos, but you know, half of the videos, as I said earlier, are basically just things that seem like behind the scenes footage. Sketchy, like the middle of Vegas. Hold on. I think it's saying it's right here, yeah. but I don't. Oh, yeah, I think it's right up here. 
Oh, oh narrow really? bridge. Oh no, there's people here. See, this is what scared us last time, is the other people that were here. Oh no, there's just people in this famously spooky area. What a surprise. I mean, they're just... I, and this is another thing I've noticed because that, that, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm just going to put a spoiler out there. Nothing happens. Like, <laughs> like, like nothing happens in this whole documentary. So I guess they were like editing it in post and then one of the editors was just like, Shane, you know, like nothing actually happened in these, in these, in these three hours. You know, like nothing. Like we need to. We need to do something here. So what the strategy was, was that whenever a human, which isn't part of the Shane Dawson uh, empire, if they were, whenever there was a person not in their friendship group arrives or there's a car or something slightly out of the ordinary appears, they just start playing this really tense music. I mean, I'll give you an example of it. Just like, I'm going to pick up a water bottle and typically you would think, Oh, it's, um, it's this brand, or Smart Water, a very popular brand, but actually... It's a, it's a, it's a low popular brand of bottle of water! I can't believe it! Is there a demon in my house? Is this his water? You know, it, it makes no sense. But they're, they're doing it throughout this whole thing. Just, there'll be something slightly strange, you know? Fraser's not drinking smart water for once. I guess he's been haunted by the f- by Balzabab, or how you pronounce his name, you know? It just seems a little bit extra, a little bit over the top, and I think we can do a bit better than this. I mean, as I said earlier, this entire documentary is basically them just sat in a car for, for, for a good hour, and like genuinely, I'm scrolling through this right now, and half of it is just black. It's just black, you know? You know when like a DC fan says to you like, oh bro, this shot's amazing, and it's just a black screen because Snyder doesn't really know how to use color correct. That's what I'm getting here, man. Like, I, it's, it's just nothing but darkness. Shane, you can up the lighting or something. I can't actually see anything. And by the way, I actually like Zack Snyder films. It was just a funny joke. Please don't Please don't kidnap my family. I, I, I and I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm going, I'm scrolling through it again, and I keep bringing it up because it's just frustrating. But the whole thing is blurred and shaky, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of shaky cam, you know. When I'm watching the Blair Witch Project, I'm like, yeah, that's scary because the person shaking the camera and it's more realistic. But you know, it's not realistic to just be like, oh my god, there's a ghost, there's a ghost. And what they're doing is like zooming on a road sign. It's it's not it's 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 not normal. And I'm convinced halfway through them in this place, they drove past the McDonald's, and that was actually the scariest thing they saw. And they thought, guys, we need to actually start pretending things are here. I mean, we're gonna get onto some things which most definitely were planted in a minute. But I I I am just getting frustrated at this point because again, I am watching this documentary, and I'm even kind of doing it for a fourth time right now. And I feel like my brain cells are melting. Oh, that flash is a horror movie. <laughs> Get a load of that. How's it smell? I should have just interviewed a YouTuber or something. <laughs> I mean, this is probably the first thing that I've agreed with when it comes to Shane Dawson in the last year and a half. So, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe maybe you should go back to that. I think that would actually be. I mean, I, I mean, it probably wouldn't be amazing. I've I've seen the I've seen the Jeffrey Star series. I'm not even going to give my opinions on it because I think the Shane Thans again. In fact, can we just do a can we do a like check right now? You know, there's like pit stops. We're doing a pit stop. Please like this video and comment beans because we need to like kind of flood the Shane Dawson fans out, put them through the drainage, and you guys are certainly the drainage in this one. Help me out. But yes, um, there's there's something I've noticed as well, which I mentioned earlier, is that could they just not afford some form of night vision? I mean, I'm gonna go into Amazon right now, and I'm pretty sure like night vision goggles, they're not that much. Night vision camera, hundred quid, hundred quid. You know, it's not, it's not that much. And I think Shane with all of those honey sponsorships, you could quite easily get that. So next time, bigger budget than an iPhone 4GS camera, and maybe I'll, I'll score this up higher. Maybe, probably not. And when it comes to the actual scariest part of this, I keep joking about scary bits happening here and there. But to be honest, the, the main prime scary moment is when Shane Dawson uh, desperately attempts to climb over a fence. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. My Balenciagas yeah, okay. are not doing well. <laughs> Environment. No fucking way. You can put your foot no on No fucking here. way. No, you, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, Shane. What? You have to be very careful though because there are spikies, so you just have to like... I mean, what? How did you do that? I just gently climbed. I mean, I what? I just gently climbed over the barbed wire. <laughs> what? Why is this so dramatic? Like, Shane, you're six f- Well, uh, man, man I'm, uh, uh, this is such a weird thing to criticize, Shane Dawson climbing over a barbed wire. I, I mean, but why is this so dramatic? Just lift your leg up and move over to the other- but it, It's not hard, Shane. I mean, you've got in some awkward positions with cats before. I think you can get into a position of climbing over a fence. It's not difficult, but this is definitely the scariest part of the whole documentary. I mean, the music here is just genuinely unreal. Like, bro, you literally just have to raise your leg up into the air over the fence. It will take three seconds. And it'll be fine. So scary, I hate this. Yeah. Wait till we see around here, it's really... <laughs> Maybe that side's less? Do you want me to go see if that side's Maybe. Thank you. It's every single movement in these documentaries. It's not just the horror ones, but in every single one. Shane could be like sipping a drink and it would just turn into some, into some dramatic thing. Like, I'm, I'm gonna lower the colors. It's gonna go black and white. I'm gonna put an echo in here. And I'm slowly... Do it, add the tense music, maybe some sound effects. Number 12, monkey attacks 100 people in 10 days. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh my God. See, it's just weird. I feel like I'm trying to like, you know those weird TikTok overacting things? I, I feel like I'm by Addison Ray right now, except I don't have lots of money. Well. No. Uh, do I? No, I don't know. Um, I get taxed a lot and it makes me sad. But you see what I'm trying to say here is that anybody can do this. Anybody, if, guys, if you want to become a horror director, you're more than welcome to because this has got 3 million views. So at this point, you don't need 20 million subs. If you want to become a professional Oscar winning Hollywood director, you're more than welcome to. It's pretty easy. Just get a bottle of water, pour it over your face and add in some dramatic sound effects. And you've got a, an Oscar-winning film. Honestly, I, I'm I'm confused to what I'm speaking about here. I'm just trying to add something entertaining onto this, but I I think it's just more me gradually losing brain cells. But saying that, we are actually somehow <laughs> coming to the pinnacle point of this series. Like I don't even know how. I swear we haven't watched anything, but at the same time we've watched so much. But yeah, we're now at the pinnacle point of the series. And once again, once again, the cameraman simply forgets how to use a camera. Oh my god. My stomach. <laughs> 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 oh, my water I drink. Okay, hold on. And I laugh at this. I hear the Yeah. Wait, is that just a car? I mean, <laughs> I mean, bless him, bless him. He's struggling, he's struggling, and I, I genuinely feel bad for him. I mean, maybe it's because, I mean, I feel bad for anybody in the friendship group, but I, I, anybody that's got to be somewhat associated with Jeffree Star, I feel bad for, but he's, he's really struggling <laughs> to actually use the camera. Bro, just put the camera down. Just, well, audio's fine, man. I mean, just put this shit on Audible. Get, get yourself some money, my friend. Get a brand deal in, because I think it would be somewhat better than trying to work out what's going on here, because I'm losing some form of, um, well, I, I was going to say, like, realness, but... I, I think that went out the door at the beginning. Now, I mentioned earlier that there was something planted, well, something in my opinion that was planted, and this is definitely one of the weirder moments in this uh, video, because, look, I'm not, for legal reasons, as I said earlier, disclaimer, Shane Dawson disclaimer, put it in red text. I don't know if this is actually true, and this is my opinion, but when you're gonna see this, it just seems so 
fake. Like, I'm sorry, but this just doesn't seem real. And I'm just going to play the clip and I'm going to allow your judgments and I'm going to want you to comment down below what your opinion on this actually is. If there's handprints, Shane, <laughs> I can't, I don't. Oh what do I do? I, oh, oh, no, that, was not there we got here. that was not there. I would have noticed that a million hundred percent. Wait, I don't like this. Is this is I mean, in my opinion, my opinion, I don't think it's real, guys. Now, maybe I'm maybe I'm being a little bit, maybe I'm being a little bit of a, a, a bit of a sea theorist there, but maybe look, just comment down below because I need, am I going insane? Or does this just seem like one of the fakest things I've ever... You know those old videos in 2009 where somebody was like, oh, It's Slenderman! And it was just somebody in their prom suit standing in the middle of the forest. You know, I, I feel like this is the, the, the 2021 equivalent of that. Except I feel like this is like five years out of date. If it was in 2016 with the clown trend, maybe it would make more sense. But it just doesn't seem real. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. Who knows? I mean, are you telling me that one of Shane's finest Instagram selfies has just mysteriously landed in the random of this massive field that they've decided to visit for a spooky video? I don't think that's the case. I, I, I think it's bollocks, to be honest with you. But this is like the end. Like, I'm not joking. All they do after this is once again, they, they, they drive home in a car because they've been in a car for a lot of this and then they go home and, and they speak and it just ends. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, it just ends. I don't, I'm only losing, I'm trying to find something. But, I mean, they'd start looking at some photos and be like, oh, something has left the folk. But it, it just ends. And I feel like I've been, bl like, blue board, man. I feel like there was meant to be something else that was going to happen. Here. Like, Pennywise was going to come out and just start kissing everybody or something. But that didn't even happen. So, what was this all for? And why have I just done this to only get dislike bombed by Shane Dawson? That I mean, I guess it's content, but is it? Is it really? <laughs> Probably not. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess another thing I missed out is a car beeped. All right, well, let's be serious. <laughs> <laughs> Are they honking at us? How did they see us? I mean, maybe they saw you because you've got these massive headlights strapped onto your head and you're in a big group where you're laughing and joking and being loud in a very populated group. Maybe that's the reason. And maybe because you were in a car with your dipped headlights on. Maybe that's the reason. And maybe there were actually a group which you saw previously and maybe they kind of wanted to spook you out a little bit because it is a spooky... Maybe that's the reason, but I'm, I don't know, guys. I'm not a horror expert. I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I don't even know what that means. I'm, I'm just tired. I, I just want to sleep. I do, but I can't. I've got to finish this, apparently. That's what I've been told anyway. I mean, I don't know what it is with white people when they get a camera and they have to start making absolutely everything creepy. I'm currently trapped on the side of TikTok where somebody adds a horror sound onto something. Like, s nothing will happen, but there will be a horror sound on and it'll make me think, wow, maybe Pennywise does exist. Nothing happened, but you know, it, it, it just makes me feel that way. And I can't explain it. I think it's just a white people thing. Yeah, before that, there is like a crying sound. Crying sound with like, it sounds like horse. You heard that, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That scared me so much. What was that? I mean, it's probably the kids that you saw earlier. You literally said earlier in the documentary that this spot is a very popular area that teenagers like to go to. I mean, is it really out of the ordinary for a teenager to be a dick? Probably not. And also, I think a teenager would scream if Shane Dawson was... Didn't say that. Didn't say that. Moving on. But yeah, I I'm not joking. It does It does end here. The entire thing just stops. It's it's them going to an abandoned bridge and, and, and then they go home. Now, I'm not saying that Shane Dawson can't make YouTube videos, but I do just have to start to ask the question of, does it need to be this long? Did there need to be three parts? And w why is the quality getting bad? Like, 
I'm never going to tell, I mean, I've tell a few people they can't upload videos, but I, I mean, Shane, I'm not going to instruct you what you need to do with your life, but I feel like you could be making better content than this. And I'm not a content like God. I know my content isn't the most amazing thing on the planet, but at the same time, if you're going to like start wanting to make these amazing documentaries, firstly, you've got to learn to take criticism. And I am criticizing this as a piece of media. I feel like I've been fairly nice throughout this when it comes to treating people as... As, as equals, you know, but I, I just think that this was one of the most pointless experiences I've ever had to go through, and I am ultimately very frustrated with this. I feel like this would probably get a lower rating on Rotten Tomatoes than Eternals did, and that's saying something. A lot of people liked that film. For me, I didn't. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I guess my mind has been fried, and that is ultimately your fault, Shane Dawson. This documentary has burnt me out, and I'm now going to rest for six months. So yes, when I next upload, it's going to be again in another six months time, but I guess you guys are used to that at this point. To conclude this video, I'm going to give this series a two out of ten. I'm not going to give it a zero because, you know, I mean, that's that's a bit mean, but maybe maybe Shane's a bit rusty, or maybe it's the fact that the Shane Dawson novelty and hype train has completely and utterly worn off. Maybe that's something we could discover in the future. Maybe I could analyze other documentaries that Shane has made. If you want me to do that, get this video to 45,000 likes. If we get it there, I will maybe review a series of your choice. I will put up a poll, but this video does need to get 45,000 likes for that. But yeah... I really have nothing more to add other than I feel like I need a load of beans on toast to recover from this. I, I hope you are going to get the therapy you need after this. I'm, I'm sorry if this was too long. I just needed to separate this as well because I feel like if I did this in one video, I would just... You don't even want to know. But yeah, that is the end of this video. That is the ending of this journey. If there's anything you want me to talk about on this channel, please comment down below. If you want to follow my second channel, please go subscribe to it, I never live. Please subscribe to this channel and please follow my social medias. I never 69 on Twitter. I never on Instagram. It's all there in the description. I, I feel like I've rambled so much in this video just because of how much I just need to like say things to stay sane, you know? If that makes any sense. Thanks so much for coming along. I promise I'm not mental. And I'll see you in the next one. If you're a Shane Dawson fan and you hate me, you may as well stay and watch the videos. And if you want to dislike them, go ahead, Chief. It still gets me monetization. Peace out, everybody. And have a lovely day. Bye-bye.